uh, local markets often will give us uh, food they can no longer sell. Mm. So. That's good. That's, that's, that's good. That's it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, we're, we're the most overregulated country in history. Yeah. Ironically, one of the things evolution has done to us is to get rid of the antibodies because we overprotect ourselves. Yeah. So we can no longer digest the meat, whereas wolves eat meat that's two weeks past, and they're like, what? It's great. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. So, so in any case, so we want, we're trying to get to why the wolves are keystone <laughs> predators. And we want to talk about, let's watch this though, watch as the young one tries to go up to the alpha. No? Nope. <laughs> Her confidence wanes at the last minute, says, I don't know. Cree looks like he's into the chicken. So there are two males and a female? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, let's do a quick break between the explanation of the beaver and the, and the wolf. Um, let's, I guess, yeah, I guess we should be all set now. Uh, this is, uh, Cree is sort of like our alpha male, and we're going to qualify that. We're going to talk about what that means. Uh, and he's the only one who's not a pure wolf, and you can see him struggling with his winter coat, even as we uh, take care of him and, and, uh, and you know, rake him with the, with the steel thing. So in any case, Cree is eight or nine years old. He's three-quarters wolf, but he's one-quarter Malamute, which is why he's unnaturally muscular. Wolves are skinny and scrawny. They're much more like sprinters. Uh, and these guys, these two here are what are called Great Plains wolves. If you went to Yellowstone or Glacier or Banff or Jasper or northern Minnesota, the Boundary Waters area, these are the sort of wolves you would see. As you can see, they come in different shades. 20% of them are blackish like Zebe. And like his parents, uh, he, was, uh, he was almost jet black when we got him as a pup. Uh, and he slowly, as he goes in the Middle Age, he's turning whitish. Uh, Kiska is the first female we have ever had. Uh, Kiska is 15 months old. She's what we call an omega wolf or runty wolf. We're going to learn, this will turn out to be very important in the history of talking about wolves as we get along in the story. Um, the reason I know she's an omega wolf or runty wolf is I know her parents. Her mom is 90 pounds and she's this gorgeous nightmare. And her father is like the size of Cree, 110 pounds. Wolves stop growing by the time they're nine or ten months old. Now, if some of the younger people tell me, if, mo if mammals are born in the spring, why are they born in the spring? Why aren't they born in the fall? Anybody want to guess? They're older by the winter. Exactly, okay, it's, it's because of winter. As we said before, starvation is the number one killer of all wildlife. The last thing you better be when winter hits is small or worse skinny, because you can't hold onto your body heat, and that will be the end of you. So in any case, we have to walk around here. Uh, 